Now, let's take you back to Le Mans. I mean, it was a remarkable event. Peugeot were very much out for victory. They thought they had everything. No, well, nobody ever thinks they've won it, but they, were, they felt well prepared. You guys knew it was going to be a tough battle, but you came through and won it. Just, just talk us through it a little bit. Le Mans 2008 were, was uh, amazing. Peugeot uh, definitely had the car to win, and I think they will also they will agree this uh, for the forever. Uh, and they won't make the same mistake uh, mistake twice. That's why Audi is now building a new R15. But in 2008, it was amazing. Le Mans, um, Dindo Allen and myself were told many times, especially after the pre-qualifying, that we were really going to get. Um, <laughs> to lose victory uh, this year, but we all uh, were very, very motivated not to make any mistake. We wanted to put as much pressure we could on Persia. We wanted to be take as many risks as possible, trying to do a perfect race. I know it sounds easy to say now, but I think when you when you have been there, when you have experienced it, then I think you can see the whole determination and the focus uh, in the whole team. The mechanics, the engineers, the strategy, everything was just motivated to do the best they could. To do the best with what we had and never ever looking at if it would be enough to win. But I, I never forget the way that uh, the, the, the moment of when the rain came with helps us at night. There was probably not so many people awake, but it was able to bring the car suddenly reeling in what we have lost in the dry to, to the Peugeot. And I was able to give the car to Alan in the lead in the morning. And you know, you come in with a smile and you know when you put the small Scotsman in at, at night again, you know the car is in, 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 safe, uh, in safe hands. So when I went up, I really, I woke up Dindo and I said, we are in the lead now and we're gonna stay there. We are going to stay there, and um, we did, and we um, we, are, we are very, very happy with this victory because it was not, uh, uh, let's say, uh, meant to be with a lot of people, including the press probably before the before the race. So it means a lot to uh, to us as drivers. It means to a lot to the mechanics, and it means uh, a lot to Audi. Remember the year before we were leading by close to four laps, and we lost the wheel, and. Um, and the mechanics were many times told on the Friday and the pit, uh, pit walks, uh, remember the car has four tires. You know, things like this. It was really nice. We were stick together united. We come back and we won a race like that, which makes us, uh, us, uh, us very proud. So sometimes it's good to come from somewhere down below and come back and win it in that way. The passion with which you talk about that, would you put that down as, as one of the greatest team efforts you've been involved in at Le Mans? Uh, certainly, I mean, uh, there's no doubt. When you, it, it's always great, but it's just so much easier to explain because you put up the question, and I can see you agree on that. Of course, there's many other uh, moments at Le Mans. Every year, there's special occasions where, where I can say we won or lost at that point. Many of them never come out to the public because nobody asks about them. But this is the one where you can say everyone did the perfect race. You can say it was maybe not him or me or the perfect race, but we didn't do any. Uh, huge mistakes but we took so many calculated risks and we went for it and we fight it for that so you can say the car did the perfect race and in that sense everyone around has to uh, do that the focus and keep the focus and uh, and get on with it and, and that's what we did